now we're gonna wait for the officers to come and spray those luggage. The biosecurity? Yeah, they're called biosecurity to come and spray the luggage. And you know, that's gonna take about 10 15 minutes. Just like the vaccine recommended by the World Health Organization. <laughs> Brought to you by the same people. Oh, come on. Good day, everybody. So I arrived last night about 11 p.m. and I made my way to the hotel. And uh, today is about 8, 8 a.m. And um, I'm making my way to explore this uh, beautiful city of Oakland. Look at that. So I'm really, really excited uh, to uh, explore this city and see uh, and start my journey uh, in, uh, in New Zealand uh, from Auckland. Look at this stunning view. So I'm starting my day at the Winyard Quarter and today is just an, such an awesome day because it's sunny, it's not hot, it's not cold. Absolutely an awesome day and I love it. The look that everybody looks at me like I'm a flamingo is <laughs> so crazy. I mean, I got used to it. I really don't care what anybody think of me or what I'm, what I'm doing. I just don't care. And that's the sky tower over there, which looks close, but it's not really close. It's pretty far. I mean, I walked for about half an hour, um, just like not really fast or not really slow, just enjoying the walk. And uh, yeah, so my hotel is that right next to it, the Grand Millennium Hotel. Very nice, very clean, highly recommended to go there. I like how they divide it by enter and exit from there but like it's nothing there like as soon as you enter from here it's just merged together also oh, this is just a walk no motorized scooters or anything the sound <laughs> so yeah continue my walk took a picture a couple of pictures I asked those uh, couples over there to take a picture with me I think most of those boats are for tours around Auckland Harbor do you want to eat at the Holy Moly? <laughs> I think they got a, you can open another one and call it Holy Moly Guacamole. That'd be a good name. I like serve a lot of guacamole. Everybody want to take advantage of this um, beautiful weather. I can't get over it. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, so let me tell you about the situation uh, that I had yesterday arriving to Auckland. So prior to arriving to Auckland, you have to submit a declaration form, which is basically telling the, um, the, the authorities in Auckland or in New Zealand, whatever you're bringing as far as like uh, food and uh, things of that sort. Uh, some of the questions is about a, um, uh, whether or not you went hiking in the past 10 or 15 days and whether or not you have hiking shoes and if you have like camping equipment. Um, so you have to tell them about that. And the reason behind this is, is that they are really, really, really um, strict with uh, anything, uh, any, they call it the, the 
biosecurity. So they're really, really strict with anything that you bring in from outside the country because it's a very delicate uh, ecosystem here. And, uh, uh, you know, bringing some uh, diseases or some bugs from, from overseas might, you know, destroy the ecosystem here. Uh, so yeah, it's a very delicate ecosystem. So yeah, I, I get it. Uh, the thing that I don't get is that when you arrive, um, the plane has to wait for a biosecurity officer to come on board. And then that officer has to witness the flight attendant uh, spraying the entire um, um, luggage compartments uh, with spray, which I, I thought it was so stupid because um, it really does not do anything. Like, what does it do? Like you spray, and some of the spray actually, I noticed that the flight attendant, when she was spraying, the spray actually um, um, was empty <laughs> at like toward the end, but she continued just acting like she was spraying. So, 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 so stupid. And such a waste of time and money. It doesn't do anything. Um, uh, and the thing is that once you arrive and, and they're, they ask you, do you want to edit your declaration form? Do you want to edit it? And on the plane, they actually give you a declaration form to fill out. But I, I filled out mine um, uh, on online. And they ask you multiple times whether you want to edit it. Do you want to, oh, look at this view. That's beautiful. So they ask you multiple times whether you want to edit it, whether you want to declare something. Are you sure? Are you sure you declared everything that, that you're saying that you declared? And um, you go the, through the process of like going through multiple um, officers where they ask you the same question. And finally, they give you a number based on that number and whether the officer think um, you're carrying um, some meat or some vegetables or fruit. Um, they will assign a number to you. And based off that number, you would go for search. I got the number zero because the officer, I, I declared nothing and the officer believed me, which is weird because usually <laughs> for a brown person, um, you're almost always randomly selected, um, which is sad because I got used to it. Uh, it's, um, you know, like whenever they say, oh, sir, you're randomly selected for a, an extra uh, search. And yeah, the randomly selected always happens to me for some reasons. Uh, but yeah, that, um, that did not happen yesterday. And it was such a smooth uh, uh, immigration that you pass through. You just go through the, like a machine and you put your passport and then through the passport, they you know know whether you're or, or not you actually filled out your uh, your form, and then you pass through a an officer who was sitting on a chair who can um, assign you to uh, be searched or not searched. Um, so I was not searched, and I just went straight. And then I got into the car, which I uh, will show you guys later. It's a really really beautiful car. But the weird part is that you, when you drive, you're just trying to convince yourself that you're driving um, correctly and it's not, you're not driving on the opposite side of the road. Um, but yeah, so that should be, uh, I just parked it yesterday and I left it at the parking garage underneath the hotel, which is another thing that you have to pay for, for the, uh, the parking garage. You know, I'm, I'm really disappointed about that because usually like you know, parking is, is included within a uh, the hotel say but this one is not and it's pretty uh, it's about 50 uh, New Zealand dollars it's about which is about like $35 or so that you have to pay for every night um, that you're you're staying there now, a lot of those cruise ships actually come from Australia they do the cruising between Australia and Auckland. It's nice looking gates.
Is that a subway? Probably a subway. So yeah, I made the reservation last night uh, with the only thing that that was um, available, which was the uh, uh, Sky Bar, because uh, the restaurants are or are all booked. Uh, so the Sky Bar actually serves food, but they have a minimum uh, spending because there's a ticket to get into the Sky Tower. Uh, so if you go with a reservation, all you have to do is just pay for the food, which has to equal 40 uh, NZ dollars or more. Um, which is, you know, it's typical. New Zealand is not cheap. Auckland is, is definitely not cheap. Oh, look at that. They're having fun. There you go. This is it. Now I gotta find out where is the entrance. That is huge. Let's see. Sky Tower, Sky Bar. Let's see. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Back, back Look what I got. I was not impressed by the Sky Bar. Um, I mean, the food was great. The ceviche was awesome. I loved it. Um, but the problem is, um, you know, the, the glasses are very, very dirty from the outside. They need cleaning. So you sit and you're just looking at a dirty glass um, from the inside. And it's like really not worth it. I mean, I'm staying in a hotel where I can actually see um, the outside and it's clean. So they need to invest on uh, in, in cleaning uh, the glasses from the outside. It's, uh, it's really the, the reason why people are going there is just to see the view. Um, so when you look at the glass and it's really dirty, so it, it defeats the purpose. So, uh, But going like if you want to go to the observation deck, you will have to uh, make, make a reservation and, and just go all the way up, which is another uh, few stories.